nice to have you again, nice to see you again. If today is your first time of coming across this channel, I welcome you. And I say, God bless you, really good. If you, if you are coming for the first time or you have been part of me, I say, God bless you. And I want you to understand that you knowing the word of God personally is more important than anything. Subscribe and turn that notification bell so that you keep on receiving the word that will be a blessing to your life, that will bless your life forever. This is all about this channel where you can know some deep things that will change your life, transform the way you think and the reason, and help you to know God better. All right, God bless you very good. God bless you. So I want to talk about what is what happened in Nigeria. And about what is going on in in the whole universe now. First of all, I want to talk about this pastor that I made a video. I just made some videos some days past Sunday and day that. I want to talk about him. Then I will move. I will want to move things in a way that you understand, because some of them, some of the followers. Some of his followers, I read their comments and all that. I was, I was busy laughing. I was laughing, but I think I have to expose, expose them the more. So, in this video, I respect this man so much, Sunday Adiraja, because I do listen to his videos. I listen to his videos and all that he's saying about Nigerian pastors, and I love that. I so much love that. I love that. And I followed his uh, all that he's saying about Nigerian pastors, and I'm always happy. I feel that he's exposing uh, the thing that is not good, that's not right that they're doing. So, because I, it's not long I came back from Nigeria, as I said to you, two years ago, I was in Nigeria for 12 years. Why am I there? God took me down for what the evil that is going on. You know, in Nigeria, I hated anything called church from time. Even when God was calling me, I said, no, leave me. I don't want. Because my father is a great preacher, a man of God. But I see the character of people that is calling say that coming to church, is it. I don't like it. The highest wickedness you will, you will see is in the church. So, but... Oh, in all these things, my father keep loving God, telling people the truth, never lie to anybody, never take money from anybody, never deceive anybody, keep saying, keep saying the truth. So, I understand that this issue of serving God is individual. You're doing the right thing. Forget about the people. Tell people the truth. Watch your life. Watch your life. As in the midst of doing it, your personal life, your salvation is more important for you. You have to also watch it and guard it. Not you looking at other people, other people every time, other people, but you don't even look at yourself. First of all, you have to look at look at yourself in a mirror. You look at look at your life in the word of God to know whether your life is going in line with it, with God's word before sitting down talking about other people. So when I was, you no, know, I always listen to him. Let me just go straight to the point. But one thing happened. God started taking me to Sunday and showing me so many things about him. First time God showed me, God took me to this man. He showed me this man. He showed me one lady called Mayo, one that you know, sit, 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 sit down with him, with him every time talking about Nigerian pastors. God showed me they came to, I, I, they, 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 there was a place, that a shopping mall. They came to cash money. And that lady, Mayo, one is having a very big wound already in the leg, very dangerous wound in the leg. The leg is, one of the legs is always rotten in the spirit, in the spirit. So Sunday, Adirajo was very, very happy with some of his people before they are going to bank, to and cash money, to and cash money from money that you two pay them. Gosh, I was watching them. They went, they are going there. Sunday, Adirajo was very, very happy, very, very happy that he's making money from what he's saying. So God, God showed me, God said to me, do you see 
that this man is not doing this because he loves me. He's doing it because of the money that he is making out of it. And not that even from the one that he's not send him to do what he's doing because he himself have a lot of jargons, a lot of bad things in his life that he's doing. That have a lot of that he did not send him. But he himself is worse than the people he is talking about. So this didn't happen last year, since last year. 2018, so I've been watching God and showing me. So even when I traveled to Turkey last year, so I somebody was asking me about him. Somebody asking about him. I shake my head. The person asked me, say, okay, what are you saying about what are you saying about uh, some Nadelaja that you're talking about Nigerian passports? So how do you see him? What are the spirit that what are the spirit that is speaking to him? So I don't want to talk. But God I would already tell you things about him to me. I don't want to talk to the the person that asked me this is a you no know, the church where I stayed in Turkey. So I don't want to answer. I go so I go just go ahead and answer the because the man is an American. So I, I answered him that 95% of American pastors are crooks. Crooks also like in Nigerian pastors. So the man turned and looked at me. The man is the one the, 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 in charge of, uh, of church, um, Christian churches in Turkey. So the man turned and looked at me when I said I said 95%. I said I said I said it in front of him, of the man and the wife. That ninety-five percent of American churches is corrupt and do evil, like in Nigeria. So the man told us, after everything, the woman said, "Yeah, the wife said that, that what I'm saying is true." I thought to let them know how it happened. So now, um, Sunday, Adelaja, yeah, I, you know, I, as I see, he he proposed uh, uh, Donald Trump when Donald Trump is contesting for American president. He was totally against him. It was against Donald Trump. When Jonathan was the president of Nigeria, Sunday Adelaide is not so happy for, about him. He hated him. Now you are supporting Buhari. You are supporting Buhari even before the election. The anger, God's anger is having been boiling like boiling for that is over, over this man. So uh, you are supporting him, uh, supporting Buhari. So I now look at him. God, God showed me, say, okay, do you see he's supporting Buhari? He's supporting Buhari. That Buhari is like Buhari is like a, is like, like Saul. That the two of you will keep telling God, we need a king, we need a king. You know, God say, okay, as one king, take the king. Take, you know, Saul is never the choice of God. But because of the of the people shouting, we need a king, we need a king. And they're demanding for Saul. God gives them Saul. And the, when the punishment was too much. God said, okay, I just want you to learn. To learn. Not going ahead of me. I know what is good for you, people. So, God said to me, that Jonathan, if Jonathan is corrupt, as they said, let's take it that he is squandering money, or he's, there, there's a, 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 a abuse of fund during his regime. But he is far, far better than somebody that is Wasting the blood of Christians, with pumping the blood of Christians in bundles, both pregnant women, both the two children that don't know anything, anything, both the both the aged, both the old, every partner together, born, born into ashes, send them to hell. Then, at the same time, the money that is claimed that is recovering, nobody sees that, nobody knows how it's going. This is the man. That even the time of Jonathan, there's nothing like, nothing like scarcity of food. Food was everywhere. You choose as you claim that you love Nigerian people, that you can die for Nigerian people. Then this is what you wish Nigerian people. As you claim that you love Nigerian people, that you can die for Nigeria. You wish them a man that bring them together and both. Okay, I still believe that why Buhari is still Nigerian president is because Nigerian people have to open their mouth and begin to shout, we don't want evil. We don't want evil because the voice of people, God always hears what people are saying. You read the Bible very, very well. The Jew of Israel was shouting the need again. Never in the mind of God for God to give them soul, but because of their demand, God gives them for them to be punished and for them to learn. So, you are saying he is far, far better. During Jordan time, agriculture was booming, food everywhere. I was in Nigeria. Everywhere. If we talk about maybe people he puts in office is uh, mismanaging the fund or whatever, maybe, but I, I'm not there. I, I'm not working with the bit. 
at least a man that is that that hears the cry of the people. Buhari started this issue of Boko Haram to distract the the government of Jonathan, so that because he want to rule Nigeria by force, he is busy forcing himself. If you claim that you are man of God, tell me one or one thing God you have got to to you about Buhari. Then this is the man you keep ringing bell, ringing bell. God said to me, this man is enemy, serious enemy. But but I don't blame him. He is supporting Buhari because he is like Buhari. How many blood, how many abortion have you committed? You know, have you committed regretting women and in the same bloodshed? Because anybody who is supporting Buhari is also a murderer, a brush, a, you know, the person loves shedding blood. I am just closing my mouth and all this why, but now it's for me to come to talk. Now, you are saying you love Nigerian people, you, you wish them Buhari. I wish you something like Buhari to stand at your back. I wish you something like that. I wish you and your camp, somebody like Buhari, to be your boss, to stand for, 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 for a, a man like Buhari to be your boss. Then you will understand very, very well what I'm saying. If you can wish Nigerian people such a man, I, 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 I didn't see any love. You don't have any love for Nigeria people. You don't have. You are just mocking them. You're just making money on YouTube, making money with just lying to them. This thing. You and you don't love Nigerian people. If you love Nigerian people, step down to Nigeria. It's not on on on, on the internet that you will sit sit down sit, sit down and, and fix Nigerian problem. You are just sitting down there laughing and making your own business. But you know God has already judged you. God has judged you for the for the for the. A, 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 a deceit, conk deceit that is lying down in the inside of you, and you are telling the people that you love them, but you are the enemy, you are one of the enemy, you are worse than you are worse than Nigerian pastors you are talking about. What makes you be different from them? Tell me. Tell me. You said you made a, a, larger, a, a larger challenge, a larger challenge. Let me tell you something. You don't know scripture. You saying if they are God, you come and kill you. That if they know that God is public, God, they are going to come and kill you. That is not the way Elijah comforted the false prophet of Baal. God said to, uh, uh, to Elijah, go and show yourself to Ahab. Go straight, go and show yourself. Go down to them. Sunday, go down to Nigeria. Go and meet Nigerian pastors like you. Stop sitting down on the internet, now analyzing and talking, we all know that they are doing evil. That what's going on in Nigeria? I am the one that started. Even I am to tomorrow speaking the evil of what they are doing. The same way you are speaking, I don't support the evil that they are doing. But you are going beyond boundary. People have known that what they are doing is evil. It's high time for you to stop. Get yourself ready. Get your, get things ready. Go down to Nigeria. Have something like a revival or a teaching or a meeting. Meet them, go down there and meet them. But fear has finished you because you're afraid of them. You're afraid because you know that going down there is dangerous for you. And when, when, when did you visit Nigeria last? When last did you visit that country? You don't supposed to sit down and analyze the line. You have turned it to be your job. You have turned it to be your business. Which that, 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 that lady, but I pity her because the, she doesn't have. God's spirit. I also see Jezebel's spirit instead of her. You sit down analyzing the pastors. You go, if you come out and tell and talk and tell what they are doing as not right, and you just go your own way, that's turning it to be your business. You mount every time all their messages you are bringing one by one and analyzing everything they do. You are, you know, who has such a time? If you have something, do it. People have known that they are evil, even as they know that they are evil. They so much love them. They are still going with them. Why can't you go down there? A larger challenge you are making is totally wrong. Go down there and confront them one by one. Confront them. You can sit down with one on one with them, or you can have or forget about them and have a revival, mount a revival, and 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 and, and, and preach the people and tell them the truth about God's word. You will have more respect. Than this thing you are, this thing you are doing now, turning it, and people are seeing it already that there is something you are after. There is something you are doing. You are not after the people coming out of the bondage that they are into. 
You are not after not seeing Nigerian people smiling because you wish them somebody who is enemy. Okay, a, a Muslim man said, said something to me. He said to me, I was very angry in Nigeria, you know, two years ago. I was talking about how the Christians say that uh, Jonathan is not capable, Jonathan is not good, Jonathan is bad, Jonathan is weak, Jonathan, Jonathan is corrupt. I say good. So when Buhari win, I was talking in the compound of one uh, European man, he said, Muslim man. So the man was here, the man came down, the man said, Yes. He said, Young man, what you said, I want to, to say something. He said that, that never, that as long as a Muslim person is, is, is a president, no matter whatever he, he, do, he does, even if he's not doing it well, that they can never come out and, con and condemn him and say that what he is doing is not right. That the imam can never talk something like that, can never say something like that, that their people can never say something like that. Even if he like it, they need to be doing all manner of atrocity. They can never come out, come out and talk about about him, about the, 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 the man. As long as he's a Muslim, it's a Muslim person that is the president ruling, ruling the country. He said to me, but that's what I'm saying, that in the Bible, that he also read Bible, that Christian, my fellow Christians say that my own that their own Christian brother is not capable. That Christians say that Jonathan is weak, that he is corrupt, that is not a, 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 he's not man, man enough. He is a, that Nigeria economy is dying, that uh, 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 Boko Haram killing people, that is not capable. He said that this is what happened. That Trump, Israel, said they want a king, they want Saul. They, they, they choose so by themselves. That's what I'm saying is true. Then they rejected their own God and choose the other side. That this is what happened. That now they rejected their own king. Then, then and that person have come inside. We had have come inside in order to replace him. So the person said to me, "This is how it is because my our our Christian brothers, our pre the, the pastors, the priests, they say that that their own person." Have failed. It's not capable. So the Muslim people have to offer, offer, offer the man that is capable. So when the man said, "I said," the man said, "It's a, it's a shame that it, this thing is his own people, his own Christian, and it's still happening to today." All of you coming out, you are saying, "Why can't you say that Shawole is not capable?" Sunday, Pastor Sunday, Adelaide, you are capable. You are capable. Go down to Nigeria. At a, doing a life, you all you are, you are in a far away country, you know, all the way you are, you are in Ukraine, all the way Ukraine, you are saying you are doing an Elijah challenge. <laughs> Anytime I put that to a video, I say you must be a joker, you must be a, you must be a comedian. Get down to Nigeria, fear has finished your life. Fear, fear, God tells me that you are afraid to go down to Nigeria, you are very, very afraid to go down till tomorrow, till tomorrow. I can never say that I did not support the person I support. I know what I said. And one day, very soon, so very soon, what will happen in Nigeria will happen and people will fear God. It is happening already. No, it's happening. And all that you are saying, watch. The whole thing you're saying will come back to you. We'll come back. We we'll come back to you. You and the Mbaka and all of them that is that is saying that Buhari is this, is number one person is can do this. I am waiting, it is already at hand. The level of shame and disgrace that come upon the pay out of you that is wishing Nigeria, wishing Nigeria such a man. Well, I don't have much to say, but I have to say it the way I have, I have to say it now. So you said you want to get that you can die for Nigeria. You can go down now, go down to Nigeria now. They are waiting for you. Go down there to preach to them, preach to people of Nigeria, preach to them and tell them don't pay, you know, don't pay tithe, don't give offering, just go, go down there from the one that you have acquired and made. Organize a place, have a crusade, pray for them, for their eyes to open. God took me to you to, to last week, last two weeks ago, two weeks ago, our eyes go show me the level of brainwashing. You are, you are busy doing like you are God. And a little child, a girl, was in the nearby bush where you are. 
you know, there's something like a, a garden crying, speaking to you, is the one giving you inspiration. A little child that was in pain, that was you know, in our spirit, speaking to you. And all the people that is following you, you put something at the back of the head, like a stone, like you are, you are also number one manipulator. You are manipulating also the life of the people that's following you. And the, the highest thing people are using to operate is deceit. Saying something from your mouth and the other thing is in your heart is one of the things, one of the things God hates. You are saying something from your mouth but your heart and nothing is there. You are also brainwashing your own people with your own power, with your own occultic power, with your own demonic power. That's why you are supporting occultic man. You always go against, you go against Shoney, you go against Donald Trump, you go against Jonathan. You, only, you, 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 you support those that is evil. So this is all I want to say in this video. Let's watch and see. But you're, you're, you get ready to go to Nigeria and go and tell them that what is going on. This is how a great man or a warrior, this is how a, 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 a somebody who came to the party, a, a powerful man don't talk, don't talk too much. A man with power doesn't talk too much. Great action. You, are, you have talked too much about Nigerian pastors. Everybody have known that they, we have all know, everybody know that they are not good. I went down there by myself. I stepped my feet one by one. I physical spiritual. I know the evil that they are into. I know it. I put it in my videos. I say every that thing. The same way you are analyzing what they are doing. So enough. You have to talk it enough. Give respect to yourself. I love my country, Nigeria, but I hate the evil in Nigeria. But I love. I still love my country, in Nigeria. Other countries are so evil. Talk about the evil that they are doing. That's how you will talk about something. People to look into it that it's like there's something about this thing. It's a love. Respect yourself. So, love you guys.